The seven-day weather forecast is sponsored by NEC Co-op Energy. Hey there, Corpus Christi, and happy Sunday to you. It was a beautiful day out there. The first day of spring, I've got my flower dress on. 74 degrees right now, absolutely gorgeous outside, though. Getting a bit more humid, our dew points have jumped up into the 50s, and it is still pretty breezy out there right now, and that'll continue over the next couple days. Going to be even windier tomorrow than it was today. Got some clouds out there right now, and that's just going to continue into tonight and be joined by some rain showers after midnight. Midnight, and that's going to continue into tomorrow morning. So as you're headed out the door in the morning, you're going to be dodging some some showers. So make sure you grab an umbrella on your way out and even into lunchtime, maybe a couple spotty showers out there as well. By the time we get to tomorrow evening, we're going to start to see those shower chances go back up. So they're going to go down during the day, go back up at night, and that will be with the approach of this dry line. It's kind of like a front separating moist air from dry air as that comes across storms are going to fire up just a bit, mostly towards our north, but along that dry line as well. And behind that tomorrow morning is when we're going to see that cold front slip through the coastal bend and behind that absolutely beautiful weather. It's going to be sunny, dry, but it will be breezy and that'll continue those fire weather chances that we've seen the past couple days into the middle of the week at least. As for those rainfall chances, uh, starting overnight tonight, best chance is going to be overnight into tomorrow morning, not through tomorrow afternoon. But then as we go into tomorrow evening, that's when those rain chances really bump back up, up to about a 60% chance. And that's when we can see those strong to severe storms uh, tomorrow evening. That's when we'll have that severe risk. Rainfall totals, not much to write home about, anywhere from a couple tenths of an inch up to maybe half an inch if you're under a heavier thunderstorm that gives you a good downpour. The severe risk is well to our northeast or at least the center of it. They've got a three out of five risk, but down here in the coastal bend, this is an update from last night. We did just have that one around the coast and for our northern counties, but the Storm Prediction Center has extended that risk down into the coastal bend. So now we have portions of the coastal bend at a two out of five risk. So what does that mean? Well, a one and two or marginal and slight just mean we could have some isolated and scattered severe storms possible. They're going to be limited in duration or pretty short lived, uh, but they still can pack a punch if you are in the way of one. The weather threats that we're looking at, not really too much in terms of rainfall or flooding. The main risks that we're looking at is one inch or greater hail possible as well as some pretty strong straight line wind gusts associated with these strong thunderstorms. And we also can't rule out an isolated tornado risk. Now, a brief uh, refresh on watch versus warning. A watch just means be prepared. Severe weather is possible and it likely covers a larger area than a warning, which means take action and actually seek shelter. So that means severe weather is occurring or is going to occur shortly. And with this severe weather, here's some things you can do to keep yourself safe. Make sure you've got a way to receive alerts on your phone. Have those uh, government emergency notifications turned on as well as keep your phone and weather radio charged. You can also park your car under cover before you go to bed tomorrow night and just in general, always stay weather aware. Now, before we get to that severe risk, we do have to make it through the day tomorrow. Some uh, showers in the morning getting up into the 80s uh, by tomorrow afternoon and then those scattered shower chances come back overnight and then our severe risk ramps up overnight Monday into Tuesday morning. But behind that cold front, we will have a few breezy days, but lots of sunshine through the rest of the week. Brian. Thank you, Kristen. Well, we've all heard the term horse of a different color. Well, a Texas man found a grasshopper 